Okay. 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 Hello. Yeah. Hello. So. Uh, okay. I'm, let me. Now? I want. To, I want to change my earpiece. Let me change the earpiece. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we can Hello? hear you. Okay, you can hear me now. Oh. That, that is beautiful. Okay, good morning, yeah. everyone. Do you want to? Uh, are, are you going to start now, uh, Mr. Olusegun? Yeah, I think I will just start right now. I'm fine I now. Just wait a second. Uh, my, one of my students is going to read your bio, uh, Angelica. So let's listen to that first. Angelica, okay. You may okay. Hello, okay, Mr. That, Hello, Mr. Adini. Hello. Oh. Hello, dear. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> um, so I am Anzanika and I am going to read your bio right now. Okay. Can I start? Yeah, it starts, yeah. Okay. Mr. Adini Alasigun is an award-winning artist and art teacher, social entrepreneur and talent coach with many global achievements. He is renowned for bringing out the creative side of his students with 2D class of art projects that help them to develop their talents. Olusegun uses art as a powerful way to foster the understanding of science and to create social change. He is committed to promote eco-friendly lifestyles through sustainability projects, using art for climate change advocacy, and inspiring many to take responsibility in protecting and preserving our planet through activities like pH cleanups, recycling, and tree planting. His projects have impacted many in the education community and beyond. That's all. Thank you. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Angelica. I, I, yeah. I guess we should give uh, a round of applause, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we give her a round of applause, please? Okay, we appreciate that. We appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Um, just one minute. I will, I will start... Um, I will start now. I just want to write. Yeah, you can start now. Just the screen is yours, Mr. Olusegun. Okay, I can continue now, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, as a green champion and green defense lifetime achievement awardee, for me, I am committed to pushing pushing the frontiers of eco-friendly lifestyle to sustainability projects, which I'll be sharing with you guys this morning. Not just about creating art, because I'm an art teacher and an art educator, but not just creating art now, or advocacy about uh, those issues, but we are actually taking genuine action towards saving our planet. We have just one planet, and then planet Earth, and we all have our duty to towards is saving it from um, all these, um, uh, uh, like global warming and other climate issues that we have been having. So I support education that is beyond more acquisition of knowledge and skills, but also the acquisition of values and attitudes to, that build capacity, character for sustainable, sustainable society, societal impact and transformation. And education for sustainable development is to equip all learners with the knowledge and skill needed to promote sustainable development, including global citizens. Just like what we are having this uh, conversation this morning, the essence of this is to make you global citizen, uh, looking at the issues beyond your own um, territories, beyond your own countries, say looking at issues that affect everyone, humanity, and trying to solve it. I also also relating well peacefully with other kids, um, in respect of their social background uh, or color or race. You know, living in harmony with every other person it's very important, and that is part of what is making you global citizen. In the world of Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela is the former um, South African president he says in his word he said education is the most powerful tools to change the world okay i think i will just put it to that i should just put my slide to where so that they can also read um grab, grab some things so this is i'm actually 
uh, talking about this particular slide now, so that they can also uh, also probably read along if my if I'm talking too fast, so they can actually uh, get one or two things. So far beyond knowledge acquisition and memorizing theories and terms, education should be equipped with the, the next generations of our children to solve problems and contribute to innovative and creative way to make our country, just for us as a Nigerian, to make Nigerian, uh, our country, which is Africa, and the world a better place. So thinking about our country, thinking about our continent and the world, that is what makes my students a global citizen. And then uh, thinking about your own country, that is Malaysia, and thinking about your, thinking about your uh, continent, which is Asia, and the world, that's what makes you a global citizen. And it's very important that you always think about problems and look at how we are going to uh, contribute innovative and creative way to make your country, uh, let's say your, your continent and the world a better place. So for me to reach out to students beyond my art class, I established the Caleb Steam Club at uh, my school, which is Caleb British International School. That is to inspire and promote innovative and creative ideas of my students so, so that they can also participate and contribute to contemporary global issues at both local and global level as an informed, responsible, and responsive global citizen. I have created with my students a series of sustainability projects which I'll be sharing with you this morning. It's actually morning in Nigeria, but I guess it's afternoon in Malaysia. So, I'll be sharing how my about about this uh, sustainable project, which we actually produce from recycled materials. And I want to tell you this morning, one of the best way uh, to to fight climate change is to recycle and also to plant more trees. So recycling is one of the most practical way of taking action for the survival of our planet. So recycling is so important. Recycling is so important. Recycling is so important, you know, so that is why we have to also recycle and get involved in more recycling projects. It's very important. So the project, the project we have actually aided better understanding of science, improve on student performances in sciences, and have fostered sustainability consciousness. I have promote, promoted positive attitudinal change towards plastic disposal and encourage eco-friendly lifestyle among students, teachers, and parents of the of the school community. Please, no student should pass here, please. So sorry, uh, sorry about that. I've promoted positive uh, attitudinal change towards plastic disposal and eco encourage eco-friendly lifestyle among students, teachers, and parents of the school community and beyond. Some of the students have taken it a step further by participating in beach cleanup. We have participated in beach cleanup. Many have already started planting trees in their various homes and communities. Some of the projects have also, have also put our school on global map, such as, such as winning the David Shepard Award at Global Canvas at Competition, that is in London in 2020 and in 2021. And we are also winner of Peace and Sport competition. That was in 2020. Also winner International Student Art Calendar 2016, 2017, and 2019. Mangrove Action Project USA, winner Commonwealth Science Conference competition 2017. I happen to be the one that coordinated this particular project in 2017 as um, that was the Commonwealth Science Class Competition, and we won. And my team, our team, we appear with a team in, in Bangladesh and also in UK. And the three of us were in, we attended the uh, Commonwealth Science uh, Conference in Singapore. Singapore is just your neighbor in Malaysia. So I've been to Ghana, Singapore before, that was in 2017, to attend the Commonwealth Science Competition in 2017. And it was a wonderful place, a lovely place. And one thing that I took away from uh, Singapore was a green world, you know. And Singapore is one of the green countries in the world. So I, I learned a lot of this. So most of our projects 
on uh, tree planting started with my uh, encounter with that country, Singapore. So we are also winner of make art not war. You know, because peace is so important in our in our in our in our world today. Peace education is so important. So that is why that is premium in my in my lesson. So in uh, in twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen. We are part of that particular project. So I'll move on. So this particular one we are seeing on screen now, this is tree planting advocacy project. Well, we are, I said earlier that one of the best ways to, to take action for the planet is to plant trees. Hmm? Because trees actually take in oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide, right there. Trees take in the carbon dioxide and give us the oxygen that we all need. So we need, we need, we need more of tree plantings and we need another way to also uh, um, work against um, uh, uh, work towards saving our planet is recycling. It's very important that we recycle because when we recycle we save more trees. Like when we have to recycle papers, what we are saving is trees. We are taking more trees out there. We are saving our if you, if you are recycling tires you are saving more 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 production of such in the in the world or going into the um to, to disturb to create pollution waste pollution in our society it's very important that when we when we recycle recycling is very important so this this particular one you see there that we actually recycled tire recycled tire is part of that particular production so tree planting advocacy projects so another one I want to share. So this is actually one of our projects where we create awareness about the importance of planting trees. It's very interesting. And uh, this is the major one that we did in 2021. And this was actually published in different uh, newspapers in Nigeria to actually, actually educate, create awareness for the Nigerian populace about the importance of planting trees. And this particular uh, project won the David Shepard Award in 2021, all the way in London. And it is a beautiful uh, project which I actually encourage members of staff, even students in my school, and even parents that came in contact with this particular project to start plant, planting trees. It's very important because even planting trees help us to help, us, uh, help uh, our biodiversity the ecosystem is very important when we plant trees and this is one of the this is one of the project features in a popular uh u.s um nigerian newspaper as well so and it was actually two pages and a very nice one uh, this is my student creating awareness we created t-shirts yeah uh, this was a, like a two-in-one project because on their t-shirt it is written stop plastic ocean uh, plastic pollution and it's very important it's one of the projects that i'll be talking about soon so you can see them raising different banners to create awareness in the school community even outside the school community about the importance of planting trees if you look at uh, closely some of the placard there it's like it's saying plant a tree for life some uh, plant a tree with my daughter I will plant a tree and uh, fight climate change. Plant a tree. A different discussion talking about the that we all need to get involved in, in tree planting. And uh, just like I said earlier, we are not just creating awareness about it. We are also, also taking we are actually taking genuine action towards it too. We are taking genuine action towards. Uh, um, saving our planet. So we planted trees. We are not just talking about people planting trees. We are also we are also planting trees. We actually go went out there and planted trees, and that is what you can see in the picture out there. And this particular one, we are talking about the recycling of the tire. So when we, the tire recycling is so important because it conserves land space, creates new products, prevents the spread of diseases. To a certain extent, create jobs and is and most importantly, good for the planet as steward of the environment. We have continued to preserve 
and protect our resources for ourselves and for the future generation through recycling. That is what we have been able to do as a school. And when we look at this, look at it from a, a good perspective, we see the tires that have been recycled to make flower bars, and we even in, uh, incorporated in this particular tree planting initiative, which is a very awesome uh, project. Now, we also recycle tire to make uh, to make uh, seats. So, as you can see in the picture. So the, uh, you can, you can, this can be used at, uh, in a relaxed uh, uh, place, relaxation place, and uh, it's very colorful. We make sure that it is colorful so that it can be appealing to everybody. When you look at it, you see beyond tires, but it's actually making it, uh, another, uh, uh, another function. And uh, we have we proposed tire that way. And when you look at this particular one, 3D recycling, recycling project, in this particular one, we recycled the uh, towels, the towels, the discarded towels, the ones that the students are using in those days that they are no longer using. So we put that into use. We recycle, we recycle them and use them to make flowers. I have a lot of them. So I will show you that. So this is where we actually showcase it in one of our uh, exhibition in school. So all these beautiful uh, flowers you are looking at, they are created using um discarded uh, towels so um this is one of my students participated uh, participating in one of the uh, solution 17 sdg projects in 20 in 2016 and 2017 and, and it's a wonderful project and what he actually created created our talk about sdg 16 which is about peace about peace, talking about peace education, it's very important that we also also talk about and talking about still talking about the peace education, uh, the SDG sixteen. Uh, this particular artwork created by my students, I took I took it to Egypt in twenty eighteen, and it was used for the INSEA uh, International Art Education Week. That is between May twenty one and twenty seven in twenty uh, in twenty eighteen. And um, I'm an active member of INSEA, and my student's work was actually uh, used in the, in the poster for that year and was translated in 14 languages of the world. It's a brilliant work, and we're just encouraging peace, you know, through art, through STEAM, and all that. So, this particular one was also showcased, done by my students, but I put it together in, in, at a conference in Namibia. In 2018, that was in that was in October and uh, November 2018, and th this project is actually talking about connecting Africa for peace, even not just Africa, the globe. Because what you can see there is globe, and what we used to create this art artwork, uh, um, textile work created by my student, and that what we call that and that. So created by my students, and you see African peace project. That was a project that we used it for then. And uh, in 2019, I was invited to Angola to actually have a, a demonstration with some of the students, final year students. And yeah, I, I taught them how to recycle their old clothes into a beautiful dress. So these are the, this is what we are putting on, uh, what they have even discarded in the past. And we have tried to make them useful again. So we make them into beautiful, um, beautiful attires uh, with prints. We add prints on them. So they are beautiful and actually connects them to their roots. It's very beautiful, which is Africa. We are all Africans. And, uh, and so this is Stop Ocean Plastic Pollution Advocacy Project again, where my students find out that your, the plastic that you use once, when it is not disposed properly, it ends up torturing the ocean marine life forever. In terms of, and then there is, um, there is uh, a side by UNEP that if the trend of the way we are disposing plastic and getting to the ocean, if, we con if that trend continues, by 2050, we will have more plastic in the ocean than fish. So that is alarming. So we all need to do something about it because a lot of people are using plastic and just throwing them away at will. And we need all need to do something about that. That is why we took that challenge upon ourselves 
and created advocacy about the world stopping the ocean plastic pollution. And you can also do your part by, 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 by disposing your plastic properly, or you reduce the use of plastic. Instead of buying uh, a plastic water, you can just take your own water in your uh, water flask, which is be which is better. So that is what we are. And this particular project has improved on eco uh, eco, uh, uh, eco lifestyle of our of our school community. It is very important that we also, if you can also um, invite. I don't know what the tradition is in your school. If you can actually actually invite that, to, that will be awesome because this particular project has actually improved on our eco-friendly lifestyle in our school. Um, and this is a similar project, but this one was done before the previous one I showed. So this one was in 2020. That was before the COVID-19. And we actually took this particular project to London from Nigeria. We took it to London for a, 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 the Global Canvas competition. And we won the David Shepard Award for that. That was the best time we, are, we won the David Shepard Award. We won it second time in 2021. And this is a beautiful, and when you look, it's so simple. When, I, when you look, you see a shark opening a, a, its mouth. And what you see inside are plastic, gob of plastic. What we are trying to say in the sense that this marine life cannot tell the difference between plastic and food. They're just taking everything. For this particular, there is, a, there is an issue of a particular whale that was discovered or found at the seashore, dead. And when it was, when it was caught open, it was discovered that it has more plastic in it. So much plastic in it. And what, that, what happened was that it has taken a, a lot of plastic over time, you know, because the plastic doesn't digest. Over a time, the, the belly of the fish just feed up. And it can take more fish more food again what happened it gets stopped for a period of time and eventually died so that was the uh, one of, that was the danger we put all this marine life into you know there's a video online i will i will send the link to your teacher you can watch later i have some of our video online so uh, i will send so for more understanding of this particular project i'll send the video so you can watch uh, as your as your um pleasure time so this is uh, the publication on one of the foremost Nigerian newspaper about this particular award that we won in UK. So that was the, that was me, myself, and the students uh, that I took to UK. That I took to UK at that time. That was in 2020. Uh, it was around March before the uh, lockdowns. So so my school actually won the David Shepard Award that particular year. And uh, this particular one, talking about the plastic recycling, we actually use bottle covers to create beautiful artwork. So this particular one, you can see butterflies. We have little paint there. Most of the colors you see there, they are plastic. So that's what the student uses. Because I have told you earlier on that one of the best ways to, to, to fight climate change is to recycle. So, and also not just that, we also got involved in fish clean up. We actually went to the beach to actually clean a beach in Lagos. And some students are even participated as volunteers in some other uh, beach cleanup. And so this particular one is eco-friendly reading lamp. We actually designed this for Lena and deliver it uh, to a, a particular. The essence of this is to create, is to encourage uh, kids in low income community to be able to read at night because where they live, they don't have power supply. But most of them use gen, they use generator during the night and all that. So some it's not all of them that can afford this. But what they could do is like this particular lamp, they could charge it somewhere and go and take it into their room and read at night. That is to encourage reading, reading culture among the um, these kids from the low income communities. But this particular one was donated on International Day of the Girls' Child on 11th October, 2021. So um, I have sample of it here. I will show that when after the, uh, the presentation uh, of this slide. So the students using recycled materials in creating a banner for the International Day of the Girl Shy 
that was in 2020 2022 that was last year so another november so the following year of that particular one which i shared earlier so we created a banner using recycling as well so i'm going to show you i'm going to show you so look at the beautiful look at the beautiful uh, banner they created it's actually um eight by 27 feet yeah eight by eight feet by 27 feet in the uh, sustainability put poster that we created created for this particular uh for the last international day of the girl side and it was displayed at the united nations information center in lagos so um that was before the united nations information center was moved to abuja it was a beautiful 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 uh, and the place of the, the year of that particular uh, girl that you can see there was produced by using recycled materials and the, the poster itself the, the background was something that we have used before in uh, in our school as um during our uh one of our uh, so we use the back of it to create that poster so um for me i am i am always always ready to actually uh what i want to do in my life is to continue to inspire innovative teaching and improve on the quality of education in my community and make global evidence in education. So I want to provide art education that's accessible and engaging for as many kids as possible. So just like, just like what I'm doing now, sharing my work, I'm passionate about that and I'm ready to do more of this later. So I am always available for collaboration. So um, just like we, we did some collaborative work with the teacher and some of the students last, last year. So we are still open for more this year um just that i i got a new uh, position in my school as a vice principal of the school so uh, it's, uh it has been really uh tough time and all that but meanwhile i'm still available to collaborate more and then do more with uh, educators with students all over the world so um i think i'm done sharing my my screen now so i want to I just want to um, stop sharing my screen. Hello. Yeah, yeah, that's that's amazing. Uh, it's very inspiring. I want to stop sharing my screen right now. Okay, I think I have done that. Yeah. So, uh, I see me. Okay, I need to put on my uh, camera again. Yes, yes, you need to put on your camera. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, can I see the uh, the face of the girl that I read my profile earlier? Because uh, the, that time yeah. I was sharing my screen. Can I see uh, it? Okay, okay. Yeah. Can you speak again. Yes. Yes, Angelica. Can you turn on your camera? She wants to see you. So that's, that's the She's amazing. shy? Oh, okay. No, she's not shy. She's here. I... I... <laughs> so thank you for reading my program. <laughs> okay. So do you have any questions? You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So do you have any questions for me? And... Um, I'll be glad to answer your question. So, do you guys have any questions? You can uh, you can unmute and ask the question directly, or you can write it on the chat box. Uh, okay, you can add it to the chat box and just read that. Hey, hi. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So I like the the wonderful art, the, the T-shirt that you uh, ask the student to like try to form with with all the art uh, decorative patterns on it. So the the pattern is based on your culture. Can you see that again? 
the pattern for the wearable art is based on your culture. I didn't get that. I can I can type it. I'll type it. Okay, okay. So I'll I'll get it from the I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the chat. I'm trying to find the chat. Okay. Okay, okay. I've seen the chat stuff now. So yes, 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 yes. The patterns on the on the ads actually it's actually Actually, it has something to do with our culture in a way, because most of the they are art, and art, you know, art is an integral part of our culture. We look at it uh, critically, realize that, and what we I personally do, just like what I'm putting on this way too today, I it was deliberate, and this particular one is actually a print, but meanwhile it has some symbols in rooted in my African culture, so you can see. So you can see some symbols. They are not just symbols. They have their different meanings, you know. So the, that particular artwork, and uh, the, even the tie, tie and die, the way you tie and die is not, the, is not the same way the way they do it in other parts of the world. We have our own way of doing our own thing, which, which has their own meaning uh, to the people. And, you know, it's more like, you know, art is expression, self-expression. And sometimes it's actually um, actually uh, trying to unfill our 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 cultural heritage, which is very important. When you look at when you look at other people, you see you see you see you see their you see like for Asia now. When you look at Asian art, you know it's different from African art. You know it has some things to do with their own even spirituality. You know. Out uh, their their forefathers, their goddess, and all that. So art is not. So sometimes art is not just art for art sake. When you come to Africa, you know, not just for just beautification. That's their own meaning. It's, even some of them even tells about mood of the person. So it's very important. So I think I think I have done justice to that question. So. So we, they can they can just type in their questions then uh, we. So yes yes you did. Yeah yeah. Um, or they can if they want to ask. So I'm waiting for more questions. I'll I'll be delighted to take more questions this morning. Yeah, there are questions. You guys can just type your questions, okay? Okay, uh, okay. And I have a video on that. How do we do that? So I actually have a video. And, you know, okay, this is way I'll just explain it. So I will send the videos later to you, the links, so they can watch on their, in their own spare time. So um, and please remind me so, so I can send these links to these videos. So how they do the tow wells, you know, you miss um cement i hope they understand what i mean by cement i don't know what is it's called in your own culture cement cement is used for building we call it cement. You that? okay it's used for building yeah, yeah. so so they miss it without adding sound to it or soil without adding sound to it they miss it in a container so it will be more like a tick in a way but it will not be too watery then you dip the the towel inside of that particular um, that cement, the mixture you have made, you dip the uh, the towel inside and take it off. But before you do that, you would have put uh, half a mo a mold. You can use a, an existing plastic, or you can use uh, you can use um, a carton. You know, the towel will take the shape of whatever you have as your mold. But that is a, it's an existing plastic, so you can go up uh, oil at the back so that it, removing it will be easier for you. So, so when you place it on it, and when it's getting dry, before it gets totally fully dried, 
then you remove it. So so at that at that time it will be easier to start it from the mold. So it is just so simple. It but just requires some techniques. So once you get that sorted out, you know, I think anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. So if you require more, more, more info on that, I can also supply that. But just so simple as missing the cement first, then dipping the towel inside the cement and take it out and put it on a on a mold. So the the, the towel will take the shape of that particular mold. So how long do we have left? Uh, we still we still have some time. Uh, uh, okay. So our next question is: uh, Have you guys ever tried to sell some of this? Uh, Can you type okay. it again? So yeah, okay. I, I'm typing it. So have you ever tried to sell the? Okay. The uh, Okay, the seller actually, what we do is that the parents buy sometimes, but what I do most of the time is not for the purpose of selling really alone, but the process of student learning and part of what they have they have done this is, is, is in the school community. You understand that? So the major thing is about the process of learning. The guy's the major thing, and I, I know there is still an uh, entrepreneur aspect of this that is so important you understand that so so what we do is just to not the focus is not on on selling now or marketing but i believe that sometimes when the parents love some of these things they they take it they are they buy it but my major concern for me as an educator is not just about oh how do we get this uh but uh, we are we are getting transcending to that uh stage well, I believe better that um, we get more work with more organizations that can actually fund most of these projects. So that's the way we are going. So that is uh, where we are, the, the level we are going now. So I, I, I'm trying to see the next question. Um, yeah, they, they are, they the next question. Maybe using aluminum can as verses for plants. Um, the, the can, the aluminum can, what we have been able to do with that is to cut them into pieces and make beautiful artwork, but not as, uh, as flowers. We have not used them as flowers, but we have done, we have used them as creating artwork, you know. You know, artwork, when you look at artwork, really, it's, um, it's more for education. We are using it for educating people, the populace, and all that, you know. And most of the projects is not that it's not the one that an individual an individual can put their money into. But meanwhile, it is it is making a lot of impact in our society. And um, and uh, the school is really appreciative of it. And some of them has won on that award. And uh, though the David Shepherd Award is not it's not something that we are, we got money directly, but part, one of our prizes is to take care of a particular you know in Namibia, you no, know, and we are for consecutive consecutive two years, we have been able to take care of that, you know, and uh, we are contributing to life. That is more important, you no. Know? And when we're talking about life science too, you know, getting a price like that to 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 keep a a, a particular endangered rhino is actually an endangered endangered species. So keeping it alive. And I think it's, it's very important. And um, why that is also so important is that we are also actually teaching our students to care about their environment, care about their world, care about the diversity, care about the ecosystem, which is very important in education, you know? And this is, uh, this is what part of what makes them a global citizen. Caring about the planet, Caring about the survival of the planet is very, very, very important. So I think I have five minutes to do more because I have to. Uh, I'll be close. I'll be having class um, okay. in the next uh, ten minutes. So, so I would like to take more other questions. And by eight forty-five, I would like us to put this to a close. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Olusipin. I think it's a very inspiring project that you have been doing. Uh, and I think we really want to start our own environmental project. 
Uh, so thank you so much, uh, and thank you for your time. So what we are going to do, I think we are about to end this session. Uh, somebody is asking something. Uh, yeah, from one of our students. How do I make some plot? <laughs> How do you make the plot? How are you doing that? Okay, I'll share, I'll share it out. Okay, how do I make some clothes? Okay, we use uh, we use the process of tie and dye. You know, just like um, I, I was putting on something like that uh, recently. But uh, okay, I'll just explain. You no, know, uh, there, there are chemicals called, that they use for tie and dye. You no, know, uh, there is dye itself and caustic soda and sulfide. So we mix that together and you tie them. So I think I think one of these is I will do a particular um, session with you and see how it does yes, yes. done. And I think I have a I have a I have a mesh mesh. This is actually having uh, the African uh, the I don't know the the part that you see very well. It's actually having the African uh, map. So this is you put you apply uh, paint here and spread it. So whatever you spread, whenever you say whatever is there, we transfer on the surface of the fabric. Oh, so it's just so uh, it's just so as simple as that. So most of those designs were made so that and uh, if that is even easy for mass production, you understand that when this is done, that uh, all most of those designs you see there, there is no machine made there. It's not machine. It is handmade process. So we use you know just like having transfer the design. The design will be made with. Making the design on paper first, then it will be transferred to a process of screen printing uh, on the on the on the on the on the mesh. This is called mesh. Then you print it on 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 any surface. So I printed it even on 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 different bags and all that. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. It is. This is very beautiful. Uh, so, Mr. Olusugun, I think we are about to end our session. Uh, so, thank you so much. But before that, we would like to take a group photo. So, can everyone turn on the camera? Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. We need to take a group photo. And uh, for the rest of you, you can stay here uh, because we want to uh, give you the link for certificates and credit points. Okay, turn on your camera, everybody. <laughs> wow, I'm seeing the class. Wow, beautiful kids. Yes, yes, there are a lot of I... I... <laughs> Please, if you need more, if you need more explanation, you can get to, to my friends, and I will send the links to videos to him later. So I'm sorry, I got his message. It's, uh, I, I, I was unable to actually send before now. But I was actually send after this section, probably later in the day. I'll send some links. I have a lot of videos about my work on, on the YouTube. So you can you can watch at your own this year time. And please also like my, my YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll share. I'll share with the rest of the So yeah, uh, okay. okay, I've taken the photo. Thank you so much, everybody. Can we say uh thank you and goodbye to Mr. Olusugun, everybody? Thank bye. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Bye. I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too. Oh. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you for this time. So, I appreciate my friend. Thank you.